Last week, the newspapers and magazines were full of gushing previews of the launch of the legalised KISS FM, the London dance music radio station. It was the idea of KISS that appealed to media commentators. They've not been as swift with fulsome reviews. I doubt if many of these critics have bothered to listen since the launch. That KISS was to play black dance music was, it seemed, justification enough for legalisation and critical endorsement. I've been listening to a lot of KISS FM and it's not lived up to this hype. Isn't it amazing that a radio station can conduct a long and noble campaign for legitimacy, invest a substantial amount of money, get its music right, conduct a clever PR campaign and high profile launch and yet pay so little attention to one of the basics, good presenters. KISS FM DJs a confirmation, if it were needed, that club DJs do not make radio presenters. Listening to the radio tends to be a solitary pastime. The best presenters manage to talk to those thousands of solitary listeners as though they're addressing each one individually. I'm sure the KISS FM guys are dynamite in the clubs, but they're not used to communicating. Put them on the radio and understandably, they shout as though they're addressing a crowd. They're neither exciting nor authoritative. They are by and large incompetent, lacking in humanity and have nothing to say. I've listened fairly solidly since last Saturday and I've not heard one DJ say anything interesting all week. Some of my daytime Radio 1 colleagues are often criticised, and quite rightly, for talking too much between records. But at least Gary Davis or Simon Bates don't talk during records. Kiss FM presenters do, and for no good reason. You might be enjoying a track when your Kiss FM host will drop the volume of the disc halfway through to deliver a pearl or two of DJ speak. Don't forget, it gets greater later. Pause. Silence. Record fades in again. Or, an absolute classic from way back and it sounds so good on the radio. Sliding and swerving through a sentence in the worst local radio tradition. Upwards inflection on the last syllable and all the emphasis in the wrong place. On Saturday, I heard one DJ say the record, back to the music, this one's for the listeners. I should bloody well hope so. Who else do they think they're broadcasting to? At its worst, this is as self-regarding as the club scene that conceived it. At its best, it's just vacuous, all self-confidence and no substance. I hope KISS FM flourishes. There's a need for a dance music station. But unless the audience expectation is as minimal as the ability of the presenters, I wouldn't be too optimistic about its future. <laughs> <laughs>